I am so excited to be here. A little, uh, I gave up my, I am from, I coach in Southwest Ohio, but I grew up in Northeast Ohio in, in Worcester, went to Triway. Um, and I'm a big Browns fan, so I gave up, I have season tickets. Big Brown, I gave out my tickets last night, and you know, even when the Browns win, they lose. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, gosh, I'm all pumped up. I'm like, yes, in final five seconds, uh, guy loses his mind and, and uses the helmet as a weapon. So I was, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get through it together. Those of you, if you're a Bengals fan, well then I'm laughing at you anyway, so. Uh, so, but I'm like, even when we uh, win, we can't win. So I'm excited to be here. I have back-to-back -back sessions. And so I'm probably going to go straight through, but I understand if you need to use the restroom, you need to check your email, um, you're working on your track schedule. I know I've been to these clinics before. I understand that as well. So hopefully I'll leave time. Uh, this is a team effort for me as I, my wife was here and one of my assistants getting our technology going. So uh, that will keep going. So I'm going to go straight through, but please ask questions. Um, you know, it's. I've been excited about when I got the opportunity to do this, so I will be there. If I don't get to answer your question now, we'll talk to you during lunch. My email is up there. Um, also, you know, Twitter, it's those of you who do social media, it's Creek XC. And I'm a paper guy, so I made paper copies, at least 150. Uh, some of you got the, I think there's a few extra copies back there, so um, if you didn't download your papers, because I like when I come to these things, I actually have in paper. Uh, so I'm going to go through, I have three different things I'm going to be talking about, <coughs> recruiting first, uh, then we're going to talk about uh, before we really get into the training part, I think you have to be able to get your kids to want to train hard because you can have the best training system in the world, but if you can't motivate the kids to really work hard, especially in the summer, it's not really going to matter. Um, so we're going to start with just, uh, you know, there's a state champion in your school and I believe that, and, and uh, but I always have goals we talk about. And, uh, Okay, uh, my goals for the presentation is really simple, and I move around a lot, I apologize if I pull out the cord. Um, I want you to understand why your team should grow, and there are some negative things by getting a larger team. Um, hopefully I'm going to give you 10 ideas, hopefully you'll lose it. use at least one of them, and maybe more. Um, I want you to take one thing when we talk about training. I know when I come to these, I want to get one thing, one thing I want to try, one thing I want to use. Um, or you might find things that you're already doing and might reinforce it. I always like that too. Or you might see things like, man, I would never do those things. Um, and when we get into the training, if you're looking for that, you want me to go really technical and, and all the things that, you know, I hear like Joe V. Hill and some of my coaches that I love, I'm not going to go that technical. I'm going to give you the basics. Um, but more important, I hope I can impact you the way one man did for me 20 years ago. And I've never told him, and I knew he was going to be here today. But I got the job coaching in Huber Heights at Wayne High School in 1997. Uh, I did middle school in 96. I spent a couple years in Texas. I uh, got a middle school uh, teaching job there, like there's a cross country opening. I'm like, I'll take it. Middle school, I coached middle school cross country and track. Uh, that year, the uh, coach at Wayne resigned. And I was basically like, you're going to be the head coach. And so I was very excited about that. Uh, the team uh, the year before had not had enough athletes to even score up for the girls. And I didn't get the job till late July. So basically I had a week. Basically I called all my middle schoolers I had the week before or the year before. And I got them to come out and we had a team of 24. And I, I knew a couple things. I knew that Beaver Creek girls were really good. They had just won state in 1995 or 96. I knew Centerville was really good. And I knew from talking to a man named Bob Crabtree, who was the coach of Wayne, that Northmont was my team I had to beat. It was Northmont, and they had, you know, they were the, the team in the area. And so, you know, I go to these meets, and I will just say I was running against Northmont, but not really, we were in the same meets, but not in the same stratosphere. Um, I think their seven beat our one easily. Um, I remember we took ninth at districts that year, and I was like, okay, who is this Jack Wins guy? His, his, yeah, there's this Joe Barnes guy that's running amazing. There's this girl named Linda Stevens that's blowing out everyone in meets. And I'm like, this guy's amazing. So, you know, I, I recruited hard that, that summer. I got more kids out. And the next year, you know, we're ready. I got our team up into the 30s. I was excited. And, you know, I'm going to show Northmont. And, dude, they crushed us again. Uh, we weren't even close. And then the greatest thing happened. I went to the clinic, and Jack Lentz was speaking. Okay, and I, I see Jack out here tonight, and, and I was like, he, on lime green paper, had all his workouts for the entire year. And I was like, oh my gosh, you've given me gold. I'm like, 
He's willing to give, like his playbook, if you were a football coach, would you give up all your plays? And he went through all the things that he did. And he was state champion. I mean, I idolized this man. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have all this information. And then he started talking about some dude named Jack Daniels. Now, I was kind of young and from college, and I knew Jack Daniels. But I didn't know that Jack Daniels. And he was like, you can do back-to-back -back workouts and I was like, you can do, and I was like, what? And there's this VO, VO dot thing. And I was like, oh my gosh. And what that did for me was a couple different things. It said that there are coaches out there that want to give back. And that if there's a Jack Wins out there willing to give out information, then there's got to be other coaches. And it made me start, I went to, I called the Cedarville coach who had won a national championship. I called them. Um, I tried to, I, Mr. Holiday. Uh, Bob Bowman, who was Centerville's boys coach. I wanted to hang out with coaches that were good because I found out they're willing to share. So I said, if I ever got the opportunity to come and speak for you, I would give you everything. So I put in all our workouts that we do. I, I will show you how we've uh, got Taylor ready for nationals. And I try to give as much information as I can, but I want to help our, I want to help our sport grow. I want Ohio to be a hotbed for distance running. I mean, we are getting there. But I look at the, there's an area like in Illinois, Hobbit, New York, California, and I think we can get there, but as, especially as older coaches who have, you know, we've qualified for state, we've done things, I think it's our job to give back. So he taught me that. And the other thing, I'd always learned training through the Oregon system. You know, I was race pace, date pace, okay? Um, those were the system, you know, hard day, easy day. Jack made me realize I need to go out and find out about all these other trains, that there's more than one way to train. So I went and bought the Jack Daniels book, okay? It had uh, Bob Kennedy on it. I learned about VO Dot, and I used some of his things. Now, he still kicked my butt for the next few years, but eventually I got the team to where we won a couple of district titles. I think we broke a streak of like 15 in a row. Sorry, Jack. Um, <laughs> hey, you gave me the green paper, which I still have, by the way. Um, but it, it just, I realized that there was more out there. So as I said, I'm gonna give you what I'm doing now. And mine's from things I've learned from Jack, things I've learned, I love Joe B. Hill. I love all these coaches. You can take and see what works for you. You gotta see what kind of you know terrain. Do you have hills? Do you have trails? And then you find out what works for you. But I'll never forget what Jack did for me and I've never told him that. Now Jack, I'm gonna get you a state championship t-shirt uh, that we had made, but the biggest thing for our program is if you earn your mojo. So I got a mojo shirt. Can you stand up, please? 